First and foremost, I'd like to premise this by saying this is comedy, this is entertainment, this is opinion, this is speculation. It may also be the truth. And what you see on your screen, it's definitely comedy, though it deserves a huge belly laugh. Folks, on episode 189 of ARP, we're going to watch Joe Biden's new infamous Supreme Chancellor speech as he literally declared war on half of America. And I promise you, we'll keep it very entertaining. Regardless of what team you play on, anybody who watches this speech should be disturbed. And if you find yourself clapping, you should be wondering what they put in your Kool-Aid. Disclaimer, this is genuinely my first time watching this. At the same time, I want to put out a warning to the platforms, not necessarily to the viewers and the listeners, but to the platforms. This episode, though it pushes the bar and it walks the lines of the things that you don't like to put out to people that people should really be watching, the truth that people really should know about, it does not break your community standards. I've studied those standards. I've worked very, very hard to put out high quality content that's entertaining, that's funny, that uses both parody and satire alongside with factual information to put together a great show for my listeners. So do me a favor. Don't ban me. Don't pull this down. Let the people hear and see the things you don't want them to see. Ladies and gentlemen, enjoy the most epic and uniting speech our Supreme Chancellor has ever given. Hey everybody, so on episode 189, we're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to watch the Biden speech together. And while he's making that face on there, looking like he's going to poop himself if he hasn't already, I'm going to sit here and try not to get tremendously terrible heartburn. And while I was thinking about that, it made me realize that we could start a whole new trend, a whole new fad right now and call it the try not to take Tums while Joe Biden is talking challenge. I'm going to sit here during this whole speech, and if you catch me munching on anything, it's my antacid of choice. I wish they were sponsoring me for this. Maybe I'd get paid some of those mega bucks, but no, they're not. So with that, we're going to watch Joe do his best to terrify hundreds of millions of Americans into thinking the movie V for Vendetta is happening. Ladies and gentlemen, our Supreme Chancellor, Joseph Biden. Ooh, look at I'm that blood red. Americans. It almost uh, looks please, like he's in front of a green a screen. Seat. Thank you. I speak to you tonight <clears throat> from sacred ground in America. Oh, jeez. Independence Hall in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Uh. This is where America made its declaration of independence to the world. Do you think that blood red color ago. in the background is the color of his lungs every time he coughs? Unique among nations. That in America, we're all created equal. Hmm. This is Gaslight. where the United States Constitution was written and debated. This is where we set in motion the most e extraordinary experiment of self-government the world has ever known. And this is where I took the With highest dose of Adderall words, I've ever taken. We the people. We the people. These two documents and the ideas they embody, equality and democracy, are the rock upon which this nation is built. We have a very They're big problem. They're how we became the greatest nation on earth. They're why, for more than two centuries, America has been a beacon to the world. See, folks, this is the hook. Here tonight, He's not wrong. Equality and democracy are under assault. And this is where it changes. We do ourselves no Ugh. favor to pretend otherwise. So tonight, Tom's I number come one. to this place where it all began to speak as plainly as I can to the nation about the threats we face, about the power we have in our own hands mm. to meet these threats. Fists. And about the incredible future that lies in front of us, if only we choose it. 
So Let's he's rallying forget. people. We, the people, are the true heirs of the American experiment. Yes, all of that the began people. more than two centuries ago. Not the people that disagree with you. We, the people, all the people, have burning inside of each of us the flame of liberty that was lit here at Independence Hall. He looks like he's going to fall. The flame. Over. The flame. It lit our way through abolition. It lit our the way. Civil war. Yes. Suffrage. Ooh. The Great Depression. And in the civil, civil war, the Democrats civil lost, and we freed that the slaves. That sacred flame still burns. Now in our time, as we build an our America time, that is more prosperous, our time up free here. and just. That is the work of my presidency. Presidency says presidency. I believe in with my whole soul. His whole presidency. But first, we must be honest with each other and with ourselves. Too much of what's happening in our country today is not normal. No, it's not. Because Donald you Trump disagree and, and we disagree. Represent an extremism that threatens the very foundations of our republic. A hundred million people right there you just threatened. Clear. Very and everybody claps. Front. They drink the Kool-Aid. Look at these people. Not every Republican. Look at these folks. Look at that the bald guy right Republicans there. Republicans are MAGA Republicans. Not every Republican embraces their extreme ideology. Uh, I know. Not every Republican embraces their extreme ideology, he says. But there's no question that the Republican Party today is dominated, driven, and intimidated by Donald Trump and the Wait, MAGA Republicans. I thought you just said the majority wasn't and a Donald Trump a Republican. This country. So you just flip-flopped and gaslighted. These are hard things. But I'm an American president. You're Not an American a president. Of red America, blue America, but of all America. So he doesn't care if it's red or blue. And I believe it's my duty. But my duty to love with you, to but, tell the truth, no matter how difficult, no matter how painful. Yeah. And here, oh, in my view, is what painful. is true. MAGA Republicans do not respect the Constitution. What does that even they mean? They do not believe in the rule of law. They do not nope. recognize the will of the people. Gaslight. Ding, 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 gaslight a free election. And they're working right now, as I speak, in state after state, to well, give power to decide elections well, in America. Wait, he just said they cronies, wouldn't accept the election. Empowering election deniers, And that they were talking about fraud that wasn't there. Itself. And then he just accused them of fraud. MAGA forces are determined MAGA to forces. take this country backwards. Backwards to an America where there is no right to choose, no right to privacy. All of this is rhetoric, propaganda. No right to contraception, propaganda. no right to marry who you love. Okay. They promote authoritarian leaders and they fan the flames of political While violence. you are an authoritarian are leader, it's gaslighting, ladies and gentlemen, gaslighting. To the pursuit of justice, to the rule of law, to the very soul of this country. Oh. They look at the mob that stormed the United States Capitol on January 6th. Brutally attacking law enforcement, not as insurrectionists who placed a dagger at the throat of our democracy, but they look at them as patriots. No, nobody does. What people and want they is they want equal application of the law. Of power if we give Al Qaeda terrorists, election, if we give Al Qaeda terrorists the right for a the trial, then people in jail election. here should have a trial, regardless of what they do. They tried. Done. Everything last time. Ugh. To nullify the votes of 81 million people. Mm. This time, they're determined to succeed in thwarting the will of the people. Oh my gosh. That's I'm why freaking throw up. respected conservatives like Federal Circuit Court I can't Judge believe you guys make me watch Michael this. Michael Ludwig <laughs> has called Trump and the extreme MAGA Republicans, quote, a clear. What, what is he having? Like a press conference to alert democracy. the world of danger? This is a problem the threat to American because this is a hundred million plus Americans. What's he going to do? Have concentration camps? Can. Why do you think I chose Babylon we B for the intro and outro? In the face of these threats, we are not bystanders in this ongoing attack on democracy. There are far more Americans, far more Americans from every, from every background of belief to reject the extreme mag ideology gaslighting again than those that accept it no nope. see here's the issue Folks, 
The issue is that he's literally saying, in a country where we've never agreed, he's saying our views are the only views, and if you don't believe them, that's it. You're not normal. That's the problem. We now have different core values. We're screwed. One of those moments that determine the shape of everything that's to come after. Hmm. And now, America must choose. To America move must choose. Or to move backwards. Ooh. To build a future or obsess about the past. You're obsessing about the past. Hope and You're obsessing and about the past. Guys, sound fear, like Jerry Seinfeld. <laughs> division and of darkness. MAGA Republicans have made their choice. They embrace anger. They thrive on chaos. They live not in the light of truth, but in the shadow of lies. But together, together we can choose a different path. We can choose a better path forward to the future. Folks, we're screwed. A future of possibility. A How future do we to build go back? And dream and How do we hope. come together after this? And we're on that path moving ahead. Wait, you just said that 100 million nation. people need to freaking be locked I know up. What? You, what? The American people. I know your courage. I know your hearts. I know how to read and a I teleprompter when I'm hopped up on human this growth is a hormone and Adderall. Honors our Constitution. We do not reject it. This is a nation that believes. Do you think Joe Rogan's law. giving him alpha brain? We do not repudiate it. <clears throat> this is a nation that respects Jill, free. Get me a hundred people that have drank the, the Kool Aid and sit them right we in do front not of deny me. Deny it. Pay them all a thousand bucks. And this is a nation. Oh my God. That is that DJ Khaled? Violence as a political tool. What the? We do not encourage <laughs> violence. We are still an America that believes in honesty and decency and respect for others. <laughs> Patriotism, liberty, justice for all, hope, possibilities. Oh, no. We are still at our core a democracy. We're at our core and a republic. Yet, Listen, we're Republicans because we believe in the republic. History You're Democrats because you believe in democracy. That's what the freaking simple leader, truth is. And it's not that complicated. Political violence <laughs> is fatal to democracy. For a long time, we've told ourselves that American democracy is guaranteed, but it's not. It is. We have to defend it, yeah. protect it, well, stand up for it. Yeah, by following Each the Constitution. That's why tonight. I'm asking our nation to come together, oh unite behind the single purpose of defending our democracy regardless Against of your Against Trump ideology. supporters. That's screwed up. Name one time an American president has ever pitted people We're against all other people. By duty and conscience to confront Not like this. Who put their own pursuit of power above all else. You! Democrats, independents, mainstream Republicans. Oh my God, this is like arguing with my ex-girlfriend. determined and more committed to saving American democracy than MAGA Republicans You're sitting there, I didn't do anything. It's not democracy. me, it's you. And they're we, just the looking people, at you, rolling their eyes. Well, That's Biden. anyone or anything tear us apart. Today, oh. there are dangers around us. We cannot allow to prevail. Yeah, like illegal immigrants coming and we murdering and murdered. raping people. How about that? More and more talk about violence. Yeah, Antifa murdering as an people. Acceptable political tool. And then country. extremists on the right storming it's FBI. Not, that, that shouldn't be allowed it either. Can never be an You're stoking tool. people. People, things are getting harder. So Inflation's making simple. it harder. There's people are no losing place. it. For political violence in America. No, period. there isn't. None, ever. So tell your freaking left-wing cronies to stop committing political violence. We saw law enforcement brutally attacked on January 6th. And anybody that actually attacked We've a police officer should be prosecuted for that properly. Subject to intimidation. Law and order. And death threats. Properly. And can you believe it? FBI agents just doing their job as directed, facing threats to their own lives. Yeah, you directed them and said citizens. you didn't direct them. On top of that, you lie. Listen, po politicians, when today, politicians lie, it stokes before, crazy people. Predicting and all but calling for mass violence oh and rioting in the streets. Oh this is inflammatory. It's dangerous. It's against the rule of law. You're doing it. And we, the people, must say. You're doing this it. This is not who we are. This is not who we are. <clears throat> this is not who we Ladies are. Ladies and gentlemen, 
We can't be pro-insurrectionists. Uh, pro pro Pro-exorrectionists. And pro-American. They're incompatible. Oh, we he's trying to create a clear difference. In this country. We are pro-insurrectionists. We each have to reject political violence. There with, are no actual insurrectionists. With all the moral clarity and conviction this nation can muster. Now, we can't let the integrity of our elections be undermined. Mm -hmm. For that, yep, now we're cheating. A path to chaos. Yep, now we're cheating. Look, I know it's us now. Politics can be fierce and mean it's and us nasty now. in America. I it's get us. It. We're cheating. I already I know what's going to happen. What's coming? Politics in disagreement and debate and dissent. We're a big, complicated country, but democracy endures only if we democracy the within the frame of a constitutional the republic. Of the republic. Only if you said it right there, republic. We the people accept the results of free and fair elections. And when you only don't in 2024, what's going to happen? What's going to happen when you gaslight us in 2024 and say we stole the election and call us the oppressors? Because that's democracy what's happening. That's what's going to come, people. If you don't think that's what's going to happen, if you don't think Mr. Potato Head here is going to freaking claim that we stole the election, what's going to happen when Joe Biden decides not to ab ab abdicate power? What happens when Kamala Harris doesn't accept the votes like Pence didn't do? What happens? What happens then? You can't love your country only when you win it's yeah you should listen to your own advice because as soon as you American lose you're going to hate the only country works. only if we choose to respect the rule of law and mm. the institutions that were set up in this chamber behind me wait aren't only your aren't your party folks saying that these institutions are systemically racist i will not stand by and watch he's such I will a politician not the will of the American people be overturned by wild conspiracy theories and baseless evidence-free claims of fraud. Mm. I will not stand by and watch elections in this country stolen by people who simply refuse to accept that they stolen. lost. See? See what he's saying? He's gaslighting. He's saying, you can't believe that elections can be stolen. You shouldn't the steal the election. Freedom in this country, the it's freedom arguing with insane people. And have These are insane people, ladies and gentlemen. And be taken from you and the American people. Look, as your president, I will defend our democracy with every fiber of my being, and I'm asking every American to join me. Oh, oh, sorry, Huckleberry, it's the consumption. Throughout our history, America's often made the greatest progress oh. coming out of some of our darkest moments, like you're hearing that bullhorn. They're I saying we uh, can uh, and must do that again. We're saying, let's go, and Brandon. We are. MAGA Republicans look at America and see carnage. So and far, darkness 20 and minutes. They spread fear and lies. Your progressive lies parties do that. For profit and power. Yeah, that's what do you think I BLM see a did? Different America. An America with an unlimited future. You see an America from an America a bubble? It's about to take off. I hope you see it as well. I Just hope you see it. Uh, that I sounds pretty you can confident. Look at America from the depths of COVID. So we passed the largest economic recovery package since Franklin Delano Roosevelt. And today, America's America's economy since the Delano of the Roosevelt. You printed money and inflated our economy. In the world, we have more to go. I believe we could build a better America. So we oh passed God. the biggest infrastructure investment oh since gosh. President Dwight D. Eisenhower. Oh, God, and we said now it. embarked on a decade of rebuilding the nation's roads, a decade of, bridges, highways, not a decade ports, of, a system, decade of high-speed internet, railroads. <sighs> These people. I believe we could make live America in a safer. So we passed the most significant gun safety law since President Clinton. <laughs> I believe. Oh my gosh! Look at we these people. We could go from being the these are the Highest elite folks, ladies and gentlemen, the folks that never, ever, ever so will meet you in a street because their Obama house is more money than you'll ever have in your whole Act. life. <clears throat> Doesn't matter that I'm cutting Biden off. If that's annoying you and, and you want to hear what Biden create, has to say, you suck We could too. <laughs> create a clean energy future and save the planet. So we passed the most important climate initiative ever, ever, Ever. What? It is more important a climate initiative ever, ever, ever. The cynics Trump and the critics 
extra bit. Tell us nothing can get done. I wonder what these what Marines the back there are thinking. There is not a single thing America cannot do. Not a single thing beyond our capacity. No, you're if right. We do it together. You're right. So it's let's together easy. tell the left that but they're we're wrong. in America, no matter how long the road, progress does come. Mm-hmm. Progress does come, and it's coming. And you're going to then say we stole the election. Look, you're going to gaslight all of us. I know the it's going to be a mess. Few years have we're been tough. screwed. How do we get out of but conflict, today, ladies and gentlemen? Someone tell me no in the comments below how we get out of conflict. More Americans are working than ever. Businesses are growing. No, they're not. More job open. openings than ever. But no one's of working. Millions Americans have been lifted out of poverty. No. Nope. Millions of veterans once exposed to toxic burn pits mm. will now get what they deserve for their families in the comparison. Sure. You throw one good thing in there. Fine. American manufacturing has come alive across the heartland. No, it and hasn't. And the future will be made in America. Yeah. We wish. We wish we needed to be made in America, no but they're the leaving. The white supremacists and the extremists say. The white supremacists I and the extremists. I made a bet on you, the American people, and that bet is paying so off. So if we go Proving anything against what he says, we're white supremacists, we're extremists. Of gun violence, of insurrection, we can see the light. Light is now visible. Light is now visible. Light that will guide us forward. Maybe you got glycoma surgery. Not only in words, but in actions. Actions for you. For your, your cataract children, for removed? Your grandchildren, for America. Oh, we're so screwed. Even in this moment, oh, with all so the challenges screwed. we face, oh my I God, give you my so word screwed. as a Biden, I've never been more optimistic about Give us his word as a Biden. Let's ask me, Hunter how that works. Oh, God. We're going to end cancer as we know it. Mark my words. Oh, he's going to cure cancer. Of new jobs in the Vote for me, economy. I'm curing we're cancer. Big. We're going to make oh, the 21st century oh, another American century. Oh, because I the wish. world needs us to. Yes. And you're trying to claim everything that the Republicans have been energy. doing. Not it's crazy. Past, not on divisive culture wars. Divisive culture wars. Not on the politics of grievance. You're dividing everyone right now. Together. The MAGA Republicans believe that for them to succeed... Everybody, every hardworking American, every truck they driver. I know black people that are America, MAGA Republicans. They're white supremacists like now. Remember, we've talked about this I in previous America episodes. White supremacy isn't about race. Succeed. It's not color anymore. It's a mindset to them. A it's a core no value of belief system. Is left behind. I ran for president because I believe we're in a battle for the soul of this nation. To make it a socialist nation. See, he's not completing the sentence. I believe the, the soul is the breath... The life what? and the essence of who we are. As the, the Catholic Church denies him from communion. Us, us, the soul of America is defined by the sacred proposition that all are created the equal sacred proposition. in the image of God. Yeah. That all are entitled to be treated with decency, yes, dignity, they are. and respect. That all deserve justice and a shot Yo, we believe that so why are the january 6 folks that infidels that don't deserve their normal justice system their normal uh, 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 the normal possible. span of court why don't they get that folks because they're not people to you you're only talking about certain people you're not talking about us. the rest of america democracy begins and will be preserved it's up to the hunger games and people we, the people's habits of the heart and our character oh. Optimism oh, that is tested yet endures. Courage that digs deep. Let's when we go, need Brandon. It. You hear him? Empathy that fuels <laughs> democracy. The willingness to see each other not as enemies but as fellow Americans. He's lying. Look, he doesn't believe any of this. He's just saying what they tell him to say. Been. They're saying we hope this helps. Notwithstanding those folks you hear on the other side there, they're entitled to be outrageous. Outrageous? What about Antifa? But history and common sense. Then why are you telling us that we can't we can't be against you? This is a very divisive Good speech. Good manners is nothing they've ever suffered from. Good manners is nothing they've ever suffered from. Tell us an opportunity. Your people Liberty, have firebombed. Your people Our murdered. I lived in Seattle when in the people democracy. that supported you murdered and raped We've people. We never fully realized the aspirations of our founding. But every generation has opened those doors a little bit wider to include more people who have been excluded before. Mm, like two My million illegal Americans, immigrants just this America year alone. America is an idea. Oh. The most powerful idea in the history of the world. Folks, this is getting real V Vendetta-y. It it's an idea. Remember, remember. 
It is the American creed. Now I know what art I'm doing to this. The idea that America guarantees that everyone be treated with dignity. It gives hate yes. no safe harbor. Then why are you treating 100 million plus belief, Americans without dignity? No matter where Whether you, you like Trump life, or not, that's wrong. There's nothing you can't achieve. That's who we are. Then why aren't you letting us that's achieve it? That's what we it? stand for. That's what we believe. That's He's going back and forth. We're doing. We call this the Opening shit doors, sandwich in management. You're so good, but these the people future. are bad. And, and these are the great things we believe beginning. in, but these people are bad. And this is the really good stuff, but these people should be put in camps. And this is the really great, wonderful our stuff. These people need to be to excluded. It's the crap sandwich. Trust me. Strong, noble and whole. Management tactic. And this work is the work of democracy. Hmm. The work of Constitutional this generation Republic. is the work of our time. See what he said? This time. generation, he's calling on we young people because all of his voters have left him. Sidelines. We need everyone to do their part. So speak up, speak out. Proof get is engaged. in the pudding. Vote, vote, vote. Mm. We're screwed in these November if midterms. If we do our duty, if we do our duty. And when they flip the house, they're going to say all the Republicans are extremists. Watch. Then ages still to come will say, we, all of us here, we kept the faith. We preserved democracy. We and what are you going to do when you lose? We heeded you not sound like a wounded animal. It's angels. terrifying. We, we proved that for all its imperfections, America is still the beacon to the world. An ideal to be realized. The world hates us a right now, Joe. Kept. You've There's made the world hate important. us. We're so unsafe. Nothing more sacred. Nothing more American. The bad things, that's the crimes, the shootings, that's all of the things are. that are happening are because of you. And that's who must, we must always be. I have no doubt, none, that this is who we will be. And that we'll come together as a nation that will secure our democracy. That for the next 200 years, oh, no. we'll have what we had the past 200 years, the greatest what? nation on the face of the Democrats earth. Democrats had we just need African to Americans as slaves for like the majority of that time. States of America, the United States of America. Just because you yell United nation, doesn't mean you're uniting. And God protect all those who stand watch over our democracy. God bless you all. Democracy. Thank you. God bless you all. Democracy. So I, I, this reminds me of a Louis C.K. joke. Louis C.K. has this joke where he says that if you say down enough on a plane, they'll land the plane because they'll think you're crazy. So if you just go down, 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 and you just don't respond to anybody, eventually they'll land the plane for you and you'll get to get off the plane if you're not having a comfortable flight. I think Joe Biden thinks the same thing about unity. Unite, unite, unite. Folks, let me let you in on a little secret while I'm down here in this little bubble and you've got Joe Biden up there on the big screen since we did something a little different. Republicans believe in a constitutional republic, okay? Democrats believe in more and more and more democracy. Republicans believe in democracy within the bounds of the Constitution, within the bounds of the constitutional republic, which is why Democrats believe they can change everything and Republicans believe we can't, especially conservatives. Folks, this hasn't been any different. This has been something that's gone on for hundreds of years. They want you to be stupid. They want you to not see. They want you to not be educated and not realize that we've always had these differences. Folks, they are using democracy against you. They are using gaslighting against you. They are doing nothing of what they're saying. They're literally accusing people of being white supremacists. They're excluding people while telling people to unite. They're literally saying one thing while doing another. And this has very dangerous consequences. It's very scary stuff that's happening. Psychologically, it could have a very damning effect. You mix stuff like this with social media and with all the other horrible things that are happening. The Pope even says we're in the midst of World War III. How do we walk this back? Because mark my words, either this November, come 2024, when the Republicans take everything back, they're going to be saying the election was stolen. They're going to be saying that we are the ones stealing it. They're going to be saying that the president is illegitimate. And what happens if Kamala Harris does what Mike Pence didn't do? Or what happens if Joe Biden, God forbid, doesn't abdicate power? Then what happens? Hmm? Then what happens? No matter what, they're setting up the right to be called the oppressors. You know, 
we're really screwed. This is a really bad spot. Lots of experts like to be hopeful, but there's a handful of experts that also say, how do we come back from this? And folks, I'm not the smartest person in the world, but I'm no dumb cookie either. And if you're listening or watching me, I don't believe you're dumb. So tell me in the comments below, how do we walk this back? Because it seems that we have irreconc uh, irreconcilable differences. And what happens in a divorce when that happens? There's never a clean divorce. You go to court and it's very, very messy. Sometimes things get violent. Sometimes things get crazy. The best we can hope for is a very, very clean court case. Folks, we need to be able to solve these problems without things getting violent. But when the president of the United States is literally saying to people, you should unite around hating 100 million of your fellow Americans, that takes us into very, very scary, unprecedented territory. Hey, everybody. First and foremost, thank you so much for watching episode 189 of ARP. I want to remind you, Babylon B, the, the, the website that I'm using for the graphics for the opening and the uh, outro of this podcast episode, it's a political satire website. Uh, the, the funny images you see on the screen that are mocking Joe Biden, they aren't actually real news. So don't go reporting me. And YouTube, don't take me down because I assure you, I've studied your community standards and this episode, even though it walks the line, stayed to them to a T. Folks, please go to ar.wtf. You can bookmark our website there. You can go and uh, follow our newsletter. We really, really could use that. We could use donations. If you'd like to donate, you could donate there. Or you could hit the QR codes on the side of your screen to donate cryptocurrency to us, Hedera Hashgraph, uh, Dogecoin, uh, Bitcoin, Ethereum. We'll take whatever we can get, all right? At Uncensored AR on most social media platforms, at Uncensored AR on most social media platforms. And if you'd like to know more about Quo Break LLC, which you'll know about very soon anyway, but if you'd like to know early, you can follow me on LinkedIn. Just look for James-Lane-R. Folks, again, thank you so much for watching episode 189, and we'll see you on the exciting episode 190 next week. Bye.